Hey, hey friends, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Sammy and welcome back to another grocery haul. Um, I did a Walmart pickup order today. We are supposed to get some not so good weather Sunday into Monday and we could get up to, I don't know, some say 10, some say 15. So we'll wait and see what we get. But anyways, um, oh, my hair is still wet, but um. I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'm waiting. It was supposed to be from 2 to 3, and this is Saturday, so you all will see this Tuesday. <laughs> but it said it was supposed to be ready from 2 to 3 today, and I just got to notice that my order has been delayed, and it's probably because they might be shorthanded. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but hopefully it's not delayed too long, but I wanted to go ahead and record this intro. My hair keeps getting in my way, so I'm sorry, <laughs> but I wanted to go ahead and record this intro and just make sure I have everything else ready. Um, this is a hutch I got. I picked up. I'm trying to decide if I want to redo it or not, um, but I love it as it is right now. It's pretty nice. I, I like the, you know, the antique-ish. Um, kind of worn look. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so what happens when you record with your phone. But anyways, as soon as they tell me that my grocery order is ready, I'm going to go get it. It is relatively large. Um, I think I spent right at $300, but I wanted to stock up and get a lot of stuff for like um, my prepper pantry and everything. So I can put back what we used while we were on quarantine because if y'all do not know um, I am recovering and so is my whole family from the sea bug but we are all feeling really good compared to where we were <laughs> I still get a little bit out of breath and everything but that's to be expected but anyways I like I said I just wanted to kind of jump on here right now kind of tell you what we were doing meal plan I don't really know I might just wing it this week um, been having a lot of trouble with my tastes um, so I'm trying to get all of that back which has been very interesting to say the least um, I'm just glad that I have some of my energy back some very little like I have wet hair I have no makeup on because I just don't feel like it <laughs> but um so as soon as I go and pick that up, I will put everything out. I don't know if I'm going to put it on my table or if I'm going to put it in my kitchen. And it might have to go in both places. I'm not 100% sure yet. But I did want to show you all what I've been working on. So I'm going to flip you around and kind of go over what used to be my old pantry. And I've turned um, some extra storage space into my new pantry. So I want to kind of show that to y'all real quick. So y'all can kind of see what I'm working with. But here we go. Maybe. <laughs> All right, so this little section right here in my kitchen used to be my pantry, but I switched it all out. Um, now I have storage up here and down here. So I've used all of that for storage now. My pots and pans and all of that. And I just love my towel. It gets put up there because if I put it on my stove, everybody thinks they can wipe their hands on it. But this is my saying, everything's better in a mason jar and y'all gotta, you know, come on now. It's what all we drink out of. <laughs> but anyways, I do have this little pantry right here. It has all of my canned goods and everything with it. Um, so that is all of that. And you've seen we kind of wiped out the soups and stuff, but I'm gonna be replacing those. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. And then over here, all of these are shelves and then this stuff here is like for um, business and you banking and all of that paper files. Um, over here is also gonna be prepper pantry and pantry food storage. So I painted, put a little bit of um, paint on those so you all can see that where you couldn't see inside of it. But I have everything in here, um, categorized cake mixes, walnuts, baking goods. Um, and then I have more baking goods here. Um, stuffing, Jiffy, some cookies, peanut butter, all of this is my dry goods like croutons, beans, seeds, um, pecans, coconut, oatmeal, grits, flour, powdered sugar, brown sugar, all of that good stuff in there. So that is that one. 
And then on this side, we have beef broths and stuff up top and potatoes, french fried onions, soup mixes, dried soup mixes, pasta sauce, pizza sauce, canned applesauce, um, and then a lot of the fruits and stuff here. Down here, we've got our bacon bits, jellos, and puddings and everything. All of those are potatoes. Of course, my Oreo cookies. <laughs> and all of here is like sauces and condiments and stuff. And then I did decide, as y'all used to remember, I used to have um, a dresser that sat right there that had my coffee bar, but I moved my little corner shelf over there. And my friend at work, B, she made me those. And I absolutely love them. They're really pretty. That's what she made me for Christmas. So, um, I just went ahead and turned this into my coffee bar. And I think it worked out pretty good. <sighs> Anyways, now that I gave you all like a half of a house tour. No, I'm just picking. But I wanted to kind of update you on my prepper pantry and everything. When you just everyday pantry. Um... But anyways, like I said, we're going to wait for Walmart to send me the email saying I can come and pick up my groceries and then I'll bring you all back and go over everything. And until then, that's it for now, but I'll bring you back here in just a minute. Okay, so back with the haul, I've got it all set up. It took me quite a little bit to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and flip you all around and show you everything we got. And if I can think of some new ideas when I'm doing it, I will let you know, but otherwise I might have something typed out in the description box below. So be on the lookout for that one. But anyways, let's get on into this haul. Let's see. All right. So this is just an overview of everything. We've got like non-food over there and then we've got some stuff over here too. But of course we're going to start over here at the cult stuff. So I've got two gallons of milk. I've got two things of crescent rolls. I got a box of breadsticks that's probably going to be for spaghetti or um, the frozen ravioli. I have a thing of cottage cheese, two sour creams, a huge pack of bacon because I didn't have no other one so they gave me a 24 ounce pack of bacon so that was a substitution. These were also a substitution. It's four 18 pack of eggs so that's a lot of eggs. I just needed two dozen but I guess they didn't have any and this is what they had so I got 18 packs. <laughs> I got a tub of crunchy, crunchy, country crock. I got a two um, pack of the sweet cream butter. This was also a substitution. I usually get the packs of them, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get these back one into the deep freezer. But it's two packs of ground beef. I got two bags of a mozzarella cheese, which was also a substitution because this is the one pound bags. Let me get back over here. <clears throat> I got two packs of the beef uncured um, Franks. These taste just like the Nathan's hot dogs in my opinion, and those are our favorite, so that's why I went ahead and got those. I got two loaves of white bread. I got a, um, pack of hot dog buns because hot dogs is on the menu this week as well. Um, got two things of tortillas. I ordered the great value kind but they only had one so they had to substitute for this other pack right here. Um, as far as produce goes, I guess I can count this as produce but it's just the cilantro stirring puree. I got a bag of opal um, apples. It's just the yellow apple with a crispy bite, so hopefully those are really good. Two bags of frozen broccoli florets, um, maybe chicken alfredo or something like that. Um, as far as produce goes, like I said, with the apples, I got a thing of spring mix, 
some matchstick carrots, baby cucumbers, yellow onions, avocados, Roma tomatoes, and then just some slicing tomatoes right here. Um, they didn't have any of the beef steak tomatoes because you know you gotta come take what you can get in the winter time. But that's what I got in that, and then I got a bag of spinach as well. And then back here for breakfast, we got two boxes of Frosted Flakes. This was a substitution because I had the Great Value kind on there, but they subsed, uh, subsed. <laughs> but they gave me the name brand instead, so that was a good substitution. And then of course I got our Honey Nut O's, which is another favorite around here too. And then I got the big, I guess it's the five pound bag, I'm pretty sure, of the Krusty's. Um, Pancake mix Fallon over at Moss Family TV uses this all the time, so I wanted to go ahead and try it. And it's got a resealable bag, so that's perfect. And then I got some French vanilla almond granola for yogurts. I still have those in the fridge because I ordered some, but I guess they didn't give them to me. Well, I'll be going back to getting that too. Back here, I got a box of chicken ramen noodles. Um, my youngest one loves those, and they're they're good for quick lunches too. I got two boxes of the spirals. I got two huge value size because I guess they didn't have I ordered three or four of just the the normal size boxes and they gave me this. That's okay because I ended up getting a frozen box of macaroni and cheese because they only had one of the spiral. But that's all right. It's just, you know, do you want to build a snowman? Because <laughs> we're going to be building a snowman if we get all the snow that they're saying. Uh, anyways, four boxes of the creamy four cheese rice a -roni. Back here, I got some no calorie sweetener, two bags of just regular white sugar, um, a box of coffee. Y'all, my taste is slowly coming back from coffee, so I'm kind of excited about that because I was pretty much devastated that it took my love from coffee. <laughs> but it is coming back, so hopefully it'll just keep keep coming back. I'm hoping like the rest of my taste. I got some butter flavored spray and then some Baker's Joy. And then we'll come back over here. Kind of doing it like top rotter method. Um, got some Duke's Mayo. I got some hamburger dill chips. Um, that was also a substitution because I ordered the Great Value brand. So they gave me the name brand instead. I got two jars of the salad olives. Um, and all this right here. We'll have salads one night. And then I got three things of vanilla, two things of a garlic powder. I got, it's supposed to have the great value um, ranch dressing because that's our favorite, but they substituted me this, which is fine. So I got two of those. And now the pantry stock of items are all right here. Um, like I said, when we were quarantined, I kind of went through a lot of stuff. Um, since we couldn't go anywhere but I got two things of the Italian green beans these are our favorite as y'all know by now I got two things of the Denti Moore beef stew it's the only kind of canned beef stew that I will eat I have tried others and I don't like them I got four cans of sweet peas two cans of black beans two cans of whole kernel corn i got two cans of sliced carrots and two cans of whole new potatoes and then right here i got four tomato sauces i had the great value so that was another substitution which is still fine with me right here i got three pizza sauce i had the great value they were out so that was another good substitution and then I got Prego, which was yet another substitution because I just got the traditional, but they subbed me tomato, basil, garlic, which is fine by me. I did get two packs of our pizza crust, the thin ones. These are so, so good. The crust is actually seasoned. I highly recommend these if you like thin crust pizzas. We do here, so these are probably our favorite now. I'm going to switch hands because my hands go in them. All right, so right here we have three cans of vegetable beef soup. I got, I mm, thought I had a couple more of those, but apparently I didn't. One can of the homestyle chicken noodle, one can of cream of chicken, 
um, one can of sauerkraut, two cans of the um, Great Value brand of the Rotel, and two tomato paste. I had the Great Value, but again, that was another substitution. And then two cans of mushrooms, a thing of a garlic. It's a little bit dark on this one. That's okay. I got some cupcake liners. I picked up some more vitamin C plus vitamin D and zinc. These are really, really good. So we've all been taking them. And then as far as like snack items, um, this was a substitution because I just had the big box, but they gave me two. I have two bags of Doritos and some cupcakes. And non-food items, we have some Lysol. This is in the early morning breeze scent, but it's fine. It does its purpose. Um, two things of bathroom spray. I got me some sh carpet shampooer cleaner. That carpet shampooer does really, really well. And I got some toilet bowl cleansers. I got some more Advil. Um, had to get my husband some AA batteries for his gadgets for all of stuff that he does. So, and remotes. So we have those. I needed some red pens to go ahead and grade all of Leo's um, homework. So I got to submit grades again. And then a thing of a pack of blue pens as well. <clears throat> I had ordered. A, I guess a six pan muffin tray because I already had one of these and they didn't let me approve my substitution which is fine because I liked everything I got anyways but now I have two muffin tins that's all right I did get two packs of the water I got a diet peach these are so so good um, actually my favorite ones now and then I got some small paper plates and then just normal paper plates I think that's it lord forbid that's enough but so that was all that we got in this haul and like i said this will probably be it could possibly lead into a two-week haul i don't know yet but we'll see um the total here was 290 i believe with all of this because that carpet cleaner alone was like 15 bucks and then y'all know about the last aisle and the meds and stuff so that is all we got on this haul. Like I said, I'll probably try to have the total um, before I flip the camera back around. But the total will be on the bottom of the screen. Um, let me know some ideas of some new dinners to try or something that you all like in the comments below. Um, maybe I'll try to pick one and make it for my family to see if we like it. Um, I'm not too picky. My kids are a little picky, <laughs> but it's all right. So if you want to leave me some ideas for some dinners below, I would greatly appreciate it. And I really appreciate you all coming back for another grocery haul. I know um, some people don't care for these, but I've had a couple people reach out to me. So I'm going to continue doing them as long as I can um, or if the groceries, you know, are needed. But so if I go to the grocery store, I will film it. If not, you won't see one that week. So just know that I haven't stopped doing them. It's just that I didn't need to go and get anything. But until next time, my friends, I wish you all the best. God bless. Bye.